Peter is going to do our object lesson today. So, hello, Kingdom Kids. Welcome to our object lesson today. So our thing is about eternity, you know, like uh, forever. For There's no beginning. There's no end. So timeline uh, timelines are going to be our thing today. Mrs. Jenny just did a timeline with you about our lesson. And I have a timeline as well, but my timeline's a little different. Um, and we can always put the lesson up for you so you guys can follow along with this. My timeline says to take like painter some painter's tape it's blue tape you take a strip of that and you write uh take a sharpie and you write 25 years on each piece of tape and you do it up to 300 years and you're going to want to space out the tape about a foot each and you're going to want to start with zero so zero 25 50 so on all the way up to 300 and we are going to do some things to try and get an idea of like what time is and get a little bit of an idea of forever it's very hard to understand even for adults to understand what eternity is so we're going to try and take this really big idea kind of like forgiveness and we're going to try and make it uh tangible and give you a little bit more okay and just to show different time frames of things and God outlasts all of this stuff, and he created all of it, including us. So let's have some fun. I'm going to show you my timeline. I did not do blue painter's tape because I do not have blue painter's tape. But what I did is I took some paper, and I cut it, uh, cut it into squares, and I put some tape on it, and I drew. Watch out, Joey. <clears throat> So here's my time. I start at zero years and I go 25, 50, and we're going to go all the way up. Keep going, keep going. Oh my gosh, look, I can time travel. Oh, I said, five, I said 300, didn't I? I meant 500. Go to 500 years, okay? We're going to go half a thousand. All right, we're going to go travel back in time now. Excuse me, pups. All right. We're at year zero, and we are going to learn some cool things about some of the items. Like, I don't know if you guys watched the lesson or not with Mrs. Jenny, but if you did, go ahead and go back because it's really cool. But we're talking about different ages for humans, and, and some people live a really long time, and some people live a short time. And that goes for uh, things that God created as well. So today, we're discovering something big and amazing about God. And that God is forever. And forever can be a little hard to understand because in our world, we're surrounded by beginnings and ends. We begin our day, we end our day, and then we begin another day, right? You might have even heard the phrase, nothing lasts forever. And that's true, except for God. So let's explore this some more with the timeline and looking through the lifespan of the average length of a life for something living uh, in our world. So I have a few different things here. I have a butterfly, a sea turtle, a betta fish in an aquarium that's well taken care of. We got a honey bee, the worker bee uh, that collects pollen so it can make the honey. We got a Greenland shark, a tiger, a macaw, which is a parrot that's well cared for, an uh, African elephant, a bowhead whale, bristle cone pine trees. Um, I don't know, to, I don't know how to say this. It's a tupertorus dor, uh, dorhan. I don't know, it's some sort of jellyfish. I've never heard of some of these things. So, but when I was looking through it, they're pretty cool. So we got zero to 500 years. And as I go through the things, I want Mrs. Jessica, Miss Jenny, and you to tell me what your guess is for their lifespan. We can go anywhere on our timeline. So first we have a butterfly. Average lifespan for an adult butterfly varies species to species. What, how long do you think they last? Do you think they last zero to 25 years? 50 years? Hmm, where do we go? How long does a butterfly live? Mrs. Jenny? Um, I'm gonna go two years. Two years, so we're gonna stay in this twenty-five to zero area, yeah. Mrs. Yeah. Jessica, what do you think? Um, I think maybe five. Um, I may be overly generous because I like <laughs> butterflies, but <laughs> I think five years. 
I agree with both of you. I would be overly generous too because I love butterflies as well. But really, this was really shocking and this is going to be sad for butterfly lovers, but it is way closer to zero. Most species of butterflies last about two weeks or less. Some may live only a day or two. <gasps> I know. Sad. Oh, I know. I thought that was shocking. What about a <laughs> sea turtle? Despite a few documented cases of long lives, most species of sea turtles tend to have a lifespan of what do we think? Zero, twenty-five, a hundred. Mrs. Judy's going a hundred. Mrs. Jessica, what are you doing? I'm going to say 75. 75. All right. So we're going to hit somewhere in here. Let's see what we got. It says they tend to have a lifespan of around 50 years. <gasps> what about a beta fish in an aquarium? The average lifespan of a well care cared for beta fish or a fighter fish, as we like to call them, those really cool flowy fins. How long do you think they last? Three years? I'm going to say I'm going to say five. Five? Yes, and Miss Jenny said three. Two to four years. <gasps> so we're closer to zero. What you is our closest lifespan we've de we've determined yet, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, what about those delicious honeybees? All that great wonderfulness that they do for us with the honey and pollinating the plants so we can have more plants. How long do you think they live? Well, if humans don't interfere, maybe 10 years? Ooh, going zero to 25? I'm going to say one year. All right. In the summer, when a worker bee stays particularly busy, their average lifespan is five to six weeks. We <gasps> weeks. Ugh. Could you imagine? That's amazing because we rely so much on honeybees. I know. That wow, that is cool. Now I know why the queen has so many. Right. What about a Greenland shark? Scientists know these sharks to live a long time. Hint, hint but have had some trouble deciding exactly how long. What is your estimated lifespan for a Greenland shark? 65 years. 65, so we're going 50 to 75? Yeah. Mrs. Jessica? I'm going to say 15, so 15. 0 to 25. 0 to 25? You're about to be shocked by this one. Oh. 300 to 500 oh. years oh. old. That's oh. awesome. Oh my gosh, it makes it, it makes it, <coughs> stop it, making it the longest living vertebrates in the world. Whoa. That's so cool. I never even heard of a Greenland shark until this. So we got, <laughs> we got. We got anywhere from 300 to 500. That's 200. Oh, my gosh. 200 years. The, the oldest wow. living vertebrates. Wow. wow. Vertebrates meaning they have a spine. Okay? Wow. So what about so they, a tiger? What's the average lifespan of a tiger in the wild? In the wild? 25 years. 25 years. We're going to go back in history. I'm going to say 50, because I like 50? them. 25 to 50? Yeah. 15. Mm. Wow. That's it? 15. What about a macaw? It's a parrot. We cared for as a pet, not in the wild. The average lifespan for a larger macaw is what? 100. 160 years long. Some, wow. the longest one that they have on record was 80 years old. So it was but, uh, closer to Mrs. Yeska with that one. Wow. So we got anywhere from 50 to 75 and 75 to 100 years in our timeline here. 
but they live anywhere from 50 to 60. The longest one that they know of is 80 years old in the wild or in the in captivity. Wow. What about an African elephant? The average lifespan for the largest land mammal is how many years? Hmm. African elephant, hmm. largest land mammal. I'm going to say 25 years. 25 years? Mm -hmm. It is 70 years. <gasps> closer to 75. Wow. Our largest land mammal. But our largest vertebrae was anywhere from 300 to 500. That's still amazing. Yeah. A bowhead whale. Do you know what a bowhead whale is? Because I sure don't. Hmm. No, I'm going to say it has a bow head. <laughs> a head shaped like a bow. <laughs> the bow that you shoot with or the bow you put on your present. Who knows? <laughs> it's a bow. <laughs> <laughs> the average lifespan for this creature is what, Mrs. Jessica? I'm going to say, um, I want to say 100. 100. It is puppy in the road 200 wow a bowhead whale lives in some of the coldest waters on earth lowering mm. their body temperature and scientists say that this is what allows them to live so long they're considered the longest living mammal on the planet wow we got two more what about the bristle pine cone, uh, pine tree? The, now, the, we've been talking a little. We had a butterfly, sea turtle, beta fish, honeybee, Greenland shark, tiger, macaw, parrot, African elephant, bowhead whale. This is our first plant. And it's the only plant on my list at the moment. But this is it's still living because it helps us live. Remember, the honeybee pollinates all the trees and plants so that we can each help each other live. Yes? So mm -hmm. how old is a bristle cone pine tree? I'm going to go with 200. 200? Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are going to be shocked. Take my 500-year timeline and do it three times because, oh, no, not even three times. You need to do it 10 times because it's 5,000 years old. <laughs> so far, the oldest discovered and scientifically dated bristle cone pine tree is more than 5,000 years old. And this will kick you in the pants even more if you live in California. It's located in California. Oh, wow. The location is kept a secret to protect the trees. Wow. Amazing. I had no idea. And That's then pretty cool. our last one that we have is a blah, 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 blah. It's a something jellyfish. Just trust me on it. It's a jellyfish. <laughs> the jellyfish <laughs> is known to be known as the immortal jellyfish. We're talking about forever. They haven't used immortal for any of our other creatures, but this one's cool enough to have immortal in its name, immortal jellyfish. But really the only thing immortal, which means can't die is god but this is a this jellyfish is so cool they think well this jellyfish just must live forever it seems to be able to technically live forever when faced with threats or injuries the jellyfish can regenerate and revert to a younger stage in life to protect itself wow so if it gets hurt say so like i mean say like i'm i'm 32 if I, if my arm got hurt and I had to chop it off, I would regrow my arm, but I'm going to regrow it as a 15 year old Mrs. Amber instead of a 32 year old Mrs. Amber. So that means that in pieces, I can kind of make myself uh, go back in time. I can make myself younger, like our immortal jellyfish. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> I dare you to buy a facelift that can do that much for you. Right. <laughs> so, however, even this amazing creature isn't forever like God. God created it, so it has a beginning. But God has no beginning. Plus, it can be killed by predators. And when the earth eventually comes to an end, so will this jellyfish. 
but not God. So they don't really have an actual age for this jellyfish because it's a trickster, because it can regenerate its body parts into younger versions of itself. It's kind of hard to date this creature. So it's why that's why it's got the pretty cool immortal name and it's jellyfish name. But because Mrs. Amber can't say the scientific name, I'm sorry. So the immortal jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> But God is the only one that doesn't end. And we really have a hard time dating God. I mean, our calendars have changed a lot over our human existence. And God was there before that. So I guess you can say God is cooler than, well, I, I guess you can't. Of course you can say God is cooler than the immortal jellyfish, but we can call him the immortal God. Yeah. So Mrs. Jessica, Mrs. Jenny, and Kingdom Kids. What lifespan surprised you the most and why? Hmm. The one that surprised me the most are two of them. And they're both about 500 plus years. Yes. And the immortal jellyfish. I just Googled it and I think it's, um, it's pronounced Teratopsis dorni. You did a lot better at it than I did. What's on my page right here, but I'm just, yeah, mm -hmm, I'm going to get what she said. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think the most surprising was um, the honeybee. Yeah. He lived a lot longer. The honeybee mm -hmm. was really surprising. So, so, oh, and I want to say butterflies, too. Yeah. That was a real surprise. And you think that the, the the one that has like the biggest number would be super surprising to you, right? But really it was a short one that got it from Mrs. Jenny. Yeah. You know, I think I think the Bristol pine trees or Bristol cone pine trees were really surprising to me because um, my timeline can't go that long. Fuck. <laughs> 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 So, but also what really surprised me, not because, uh, uh, you know, trees can get really, really old. So I understand that. But I think what really surprised me is that they're located in California. I had no idea. I thought like, wow, this really old, cool pine cone tree is somewhere. Where is this located? It says right here in California, but we ain't going to tell you because it's a secret. You know, we want to protect mm -hmm. them, let them get older. You know, so I thought that was amazing. And then the butterfly one really surprised me. And that made me sad. I didn't know they only got to be beautiful butterflies for a day or two. So that just makes me appreciate them and try and mm -hmm. stop people from catching them. Because I don't want them. I heard, you know, messing with their wings and the powder on their wings messes with them and kill them. But now that they have such a short life, let them flutter. Let them flutter. <laughs> let them fly. Let them fly. <laughs> yeah. So it's hard to imagine something living for 5,000 years, like the oldest tree, or even for hundreds of years, like the cold water dwelling uh, Greenland sharks and the bowhead whale. That's pretty amazing, too. So no wonder it's hard to truly understand forever. I mean, that just 5,000 years. I mean, even just, you know, back in Jesus's time, just a little over 2,000 years ago, it's really hard for us to imagine what it was like living during Jesus's time, you know? Um. It's just hard to understand. How would you show God's forever lifespan on our timeline? Hmm. Timeline of God's life. How would you show it on his on our timeline? I guess it I, would just go. Oh, well, I was gonna say, um, I would do what Miss Jenny did and do like the circle. Mm -hmm. There's really no right answer because it's a really hard one anyways, you know. They uh, try to show forever on your timeline and then um, you can't because like you said, it's a beginning and an end. Even our timeline has a beginning and an end. I mean, Mrs. Amber's timeline only went up to 500 years and I had to skip 25 years in each one. I started with the zero and it's just really hard. There is no right answer and you probably really can't. I mean, like Miss Jenny uh, with the ring is, I mean, it's just find something that doesn't seem to have a beginning. Doesn't seem, I guess maybe water, but even then you could say that has a beginning. It starts in the mountains as snow and then it melts and it comes out and it ends in the ocean. So, but that's really long. 
So maybe that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God and is impossible to put on the timeline because time is all about beginnings and ends as we've learned today. But God never began and he'll never end. God is forever. And it's one of the most amazing and mysterious things about God. And because I know that he is forever and he, he is, as the Bible says, the alpha and the omega. He is the beginning and he is the end. He is the first and he is the last. And so that brings comfort to me because even though something may look new or big in my life or something that I'm going through may seem to last what I think is forever it is not the case there is a beginning and there is an end to all this stuff that we go through and that God has seen it millions and millions of countless times and he knows exactly how to help you so that makes that even though I can't understand eternity forever with no beginning and end it brings me comfort and awe so love you kingdom kids Hope you guys had a good time with our timeline. We are also working on timelines in Sunday school at 11 a.m. at Antelope Christian Center with our Kingdom Kids. They're doing one, done four pictures so far for our timeline. Come join us, do more timelines. We love you, uh, and God loves you, and we'll see you next time.